that as we get older, most of us have a lot of scar tissue? Well, you know, I gained most of my scar tissue by seeking out and embracing awkwardness. Wait a minute. You actually seek out awkwardness? You got to be kidding me. Look, hear me out. I believe that if we seek out and embrace awkwardness on our terms, we could reach our goals. Now, when I was 10 years old, I did everything I could to avoid being awkward. If you were with me the first day of baseball practice, you'd have seen Coach Barry line us all up and say, all right, you guys, I want you to run around the track. Run around the track? I hate running. I don't want to run around the track. I want to play baseball. Well, that was what we did. And I joined the team in running around the track, hating every minute of it. It showed on my face, and it showed when I finished dead last. I would run at every practice. I'd finish last at every practice. And I got laughed at by the other kids at every practice. I ended up by avoiding running at all costs because I didn't want to look awkward and I didn't want to look, get laughed at. And you know where it got me? It got me sitting on the bench, watching all the other kids that did the running play the game I wanted to play. I also had something similar happen in school. I wasn't a good reader. So when I read in class, somebody might laugh at me. I might look awkward. And I avoided reading. You know where that got me? That got me to getting low grades. And then when I finished high school, it took me 16 years to get that degree that most people get in four. Well, it was a couple months after high school where I ran into Coach Barry. And we had a good conversation, and I was feeling pretty comfortable with him. And I felt comfortable confiding in him that I felt overmatched playing baseball, and I also felt overmatched in school. In baseball, there were a lot of really good athletes. In school, there were a lot of really smart kids, and I couldn't keep up with any of them. I felt like I was overmatched. So Barry looked me right in the eye, are you overmatched? Are you a little bit undermotivated and impatient? Undermotivated and impatient? I thought he was calling me out. I thought he was insulting me. But what he said was it, it made sense. Barry went on to say, Look, there are a lot of times when you look awkward, but if you keep working at it, while you may not get up to the place where the best athlete is, you'll progress and you'll get closer to your goals. And sometimes you'll get close enough to reach your goals. Just when you have something that's challenging for you, Embrace the awkwardness, be patient, and there's a good chance that you're going to go a long ways in life. Well, where did it take me? I already told you the bad news. The bad news was that it took me 16 years to get my degree. Well, you know what the good news was? On that January day, 
16 years after I got out of high school, Father Loshiabo handed me that degree from the University of San Francisco. There was awkwardness in the classroom. There was awkwardness when I was doing homework. And there was awkwardness when I was doing projects. But I embraced the awkwardness on my terms. And I reached my goal. So what goal do you have that feeling awkward might be holding you back? Take the advice of Coach Barry. Seek out and embrace that awkwardness and show a little patience and I'll bet you you'll reach your goal.